Okay, so now let's look at a graph that is nonlinear. Um, so you're going to go ahead and enter your data just like you did for the for a linear chart. Um, then you're going to select all of your data, and you're going to repeat the process. You're going to insert a scatter points only. You're going to go find the right format that seems that fits your data nicely like that. Now you'll see in this case that it looks sort of curved. Um, you can go into format or to layout. You can you can try a linear trend line. Um, doesn't fit very well if I went here down to more trend line options and I added the equation and the R squared value. Um, you will see that while I have a 0.9527 it's, I could probably do better if you look at the, at the chart. So now I can actually insert another trend line. But in this case, I don't want to use um, exponential and I don't want to use linear or a, or a two period moving average. I'm actually going to go here and I want to use a power trend line. Okay, now we know that because I'm doing diameter and area, it's going to, since um, area equals pi r squared, it's most likely going to be a polynomial or a power. Now, we do not use logarithmic and we don't use exponential. We use linear and we use power and we don't use moving average. So here we're just going to use a regular power and we're going to, and we're going to display the equation and do the chi-square value or the, the coefficient of determination again. And you will see here, if I move this down here, I get an R squared of 1 and I get 3.159 which is close to pi and I get X raised to the 1.997 pi R squared. Alright, so I get the same kind of thing and because this R squared is 1 and this one is, 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 is not and is better than this, I am in a much better position with regard to my uh, data.